Every now and then I come and see doctor, I'll come my son for. Without son for, I don't know what am I going to do. My name is Jimmy Tan. I'm a, a driver for a transporter in Singapore Red Cross. My name is Ray. I am a financial advisor by profession, but uh, I take some time off my schedule to just uh, help out with transport aid. My name is Mary Sim, and I like Red Cross very much because the volunteer they are very kind to me. Then the transport also every now and then send me to hospital. It seems like an interesting role because uh, as a medical chaperone, you, you get to experience the part of getting to know the client, that's one, getting to know the beneficiary, understanding them on a like, slightly more personal level. Sometimes you get to like accompany them for the medical appointment, and sometimes you get to get to follow up with them for the next one. I think there's a continuity in that sense. It gives me a greater sense of contribution to society in general because I think there are many people who are out there they are lacking in terms of um, societal support you know, we need to be in touch we need to be in touch constantly with um, our beneficiaries yeah. It is quite a meaningful job in this place here it is something which we feel that we do give in our small way to society we are very blessed that we are able to serve these people who are not so fortunate. Only thing I can tell you is that the transport, the driver, uncle, all very, very kind of them. They have helped me. Sometimes I cannot come up with it. They go, they open by a van door and pull me like that. Well, I think it's, it's quite important for them because some of them I've seen, most have a physical, um, limitation in terms of their mobility uh, so they would need help, quite significant help and usually in their situation they don't have the adequate uh, help and support from their family members or the people around them to bring them for their medical appointments so I think Transport Aid provides a platform to reach the gap between these uh, people and their needs Transport Aid used to have a bit of a car pulling system so because of COVID, we try to not do that now uh, we have a driver and a beneficiary and a chaperone as a team for that, for that particular situation sometimes in the past we have more people you know, pulling the same vehicle um, Of course we have our precautionary safety here but uh, hygiene is very, very important of course, we realize that there is an exposure. What we are doing is fetching the patient from home to the premises of the hospital itself. We do not go into the hospital. In such services, it is convenient. Then you can imagine who is going to pick up this patient because we are committed to be in this organization. At first, they are, they are taking me as a taxi. The volunteer will take taxi. Then after that, the officer said that you take a transport. You take a taxi. No more taxi. No more transport. But transport also good lah. Thank you for the for the Red Cross for helping me.